guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another in my series of collection videos. The first one I posted was last week actually, and it was my nail polish collection, all of my nail polishes, and how I organize and store them. And I actually asked you guys to request in the comment box below what other collection series you'd like to see of my makeup or anything else in my beauty room. And I actually got a couple of exciting requests, one of which I'm sharing with you guys today, my perfume collection. And then I was also requested to share my eyeshadow palette collection. So I will be filming that one soon, probably after the holiday season, because I do want to film for next week my favorite makeup that is $5 or less. So anything that's $5 or less, I've gone through my makeup collection and I've been able to narrow it down. So I thought I would film that for you guys for the following week. And then I will probably be filming my December favorites but after that I'll go back into my beauty collection videos so if you guys have any other requests other than eyeshadow palettes which will be coming up in the near future let me know in the comment box below this is my complete collection of perfumes and before we get started with this video I did want to let you guys know that I will be listing all of the fragrances down below linking them for you guys as well so you can check it out if you're interested I'm gonna go through them with you guys one by one what they're called what they smell like and why they are my favorite so here is my collection of perfumes. I have quite a bit. I'm not one of those kinds of girls that can stick with one fragrance. My mom is like that. She loves Chance by Chanel. That is her signature scent, and when she runs out, she has to quickly go and buy another bottle. Whereas I'm a little different, I like to have the option to choose from different fragrances for different reasons. I tend to associate fragrances with certain situations in my life. So I tend to save my favorite scents for those special moments, and then I have more generic or basic scents that I don't hate them, I like them, but they're not my absolute favorite. They're more everyday scents that I would wear to work, things like that. So this first scent is The One by Dolce & Gabbana, and I actually bought this when I used to work in a boutique and ever since I bought this, I would wear it every day to work. So I associate this with that time in my life when I would wear this fragrance. I really like it. It's a warmer scent. This has lily, it has white jasmine. It's just a nice, warm, not too flowery, not too sweet scent, but it's perfect for every day. This next fragrance is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I really like this fragrance more for going out at night. It's a very romantic, warm scent. It has green tea, musk, and a little bit of patchouli. I'm not a huge fan of patchouli, but for some reason in this fragrance, it works just somewhere where I really want to feel fancy and sophisticated, that's the scent I saved this guy for. Next fragrance is from Escada, and it's called Especially Escada, and this smells like roses. It's fresh, very clean. It reminds me of flowers, but not very, very powerful. It's very relaxing, and it kind of reminds me of being at the beach, just a nice, fresh, clean scent. This next fragrance is actually from Jessica Simpson. It's called I Fancy You. I really adore the bottle. It reminds me something from I Dream of Jeannie. This smells like apples, pear, very fresh fruit, but it also has a warm, aromatic scent to it as well. I really like this one. And here I have have another Jessica Simpson fragrance. This one is called Fancy. This smells like an oriental fragrance that has some creamy vanilla to it. It's seductive, but at the same time it's very soft, and I really like this one, Fancy. This next scent over here, it's the Eau de Cartier fragrance in Rose. It smells like rose water on the most intense level. Really enjoy this fragrance when I step out of the shower. It's just a very nice calming scent. This next fragrance is from Vince Camuto and I believe he mostly specializes in shoes. So when I found that he had a fragrance, I was pretty much surprised. And even though this does have a very strong floral undertone, it also has a little bit of a fruity blend to it. This next fragrance is actually another one from Jessica Simpson. It's called Fancy Love. It smells very warm. This is the scent I like to reserve for fall because it does remind me of autumn and it actually has bergamot, peach blossom, and pink champagne to it. So this next bottle is what I would probably refer to as my signature scent. And it is the original Juicy Couture fragrance. I have been wearing this perfume since 2007 or early 2008. Fell in love with it. This is actually my second bottle. And to this day, if my mom smells this in the mall or just in a boutique, she thinks of me. She says that this is my signature scent and I really do like it. I don't wear it every day, obviously. I use this more for special occasions of going out to a party or dinner or something fancy. I like to wear this probably more in the fall and winter time as well. Here we have another Juicy Couture favorite. This is actually Viva La Juicy Couture Gold Couture. This one definitely has a strong undertone of vanilla. It also smells a little bit like caramel. It's the sexier version of the original Juicy Couture. I really like it. It's a perfect night out fragrance. The only thing I don't like is that even though the bottle is gorgeous and gold, you can't see how much of the fragrance you've used up. It makes me think of old Hollywood. It's a very glamorous looking bottle. 
I don't really like the hot pink couture on it. That makes it a little tacky, but the fragrance makes up for it. A beautifully warm fragrance. So this next fragrance is Luna Rosa by Prada Sport, which basically means red moon. This is definitely a unisex, a universal fragrance. It's made for men, but you can wear it as a woman. It's a gorgeous scent. It has tonka bean, vanilla, lavender, and then a little bit of a citrusy ginger twist to it. It does not smell manly whatsoever. It is a very unisex scent, and it definitely does smell heavenly. And then next up, we have two of my favorite Daisy perfumes from Marc Jacobs. This one right here is the original Daisy. It smells like apples. It's very fresh. It's a very bright and uplifting perfume. I feel happy when I'm wearing it. Very fresh, clean. And then this is a newer one. I believe it might be limited edition. And it's also Daisy, but it's called Oh So Fresh and blush. This one smells like fresh flowers and fresh fruit. It's also one that I love to apply when I come out of the shower. It just helps me to feel even fresher, even more clean. A great fragrance. This fragrance is Prada Candy. I adore this fragrance. Very powdery, citrusy notes to it. I really like it. It's very fresh, an oriental fragrance. It's soft, it's subdued. And then I had to add the Prada Candy Floral. It's a little bit less powdery, a little bit more floral. It's very sophisticated. This last bottle is Prada Candy Low, and it reminds me of lemons. It's a little bit more citrusy. It's not my favorite of the three, but it was actually gifted to me. It's okay, but it's not my favorite. I hang on to it because, I don't know, I just really like the way the bottle looks, and I will wear it when I'm working out or something like that because it gives me this nice citrusy scent. So now we are rounding up on the last four fragrances. This first one comes from Escada. It's called Moon Sparkle, and it was released in 2007. It smells like fresh fruit, very clean. I like this one a lot in the summertime. It's just a very very relaxing scent. This next scent in the middle is called Pink Sugar. It looks like a kid's perfume, and I'm not very much into sweet, super sugary fragrances, but this one smells so much like vanilla, and I love anything vanilla. This next bottle of perfume probably looks very strange. In fact, it's kind of what got me interested in the perfume in the first place. I kept seeing this, and I was wondering, what is that weird little alien bottle? And I found out that it's actually a Katy Perry fragrance. It's called Meow. It opens up with a lot of fruity scents like tangerine, I smell pear, I smell jasmine, a little bit of gardenia, but it does have some softer scents like lily of the valley, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of amber, some sandalwood and musk. And then over here we have Marc Jacobs Daisy in Oh So Fresh. This is the cleanest scent I have ever smelled. It has some fruitiness to it, but it's very soft, very clean. I feel like this is one of the few fragrances that doesn't change with body chemistry. It smells true to the way that you smell it on the bottle, which is great because if you're looking for a fragrance for someone, this would be a great pick because I think it smells great on everybody. That wraps it up guys. That is my perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks to those of you that requested it. Don't forget to leave me in the comment box below what your favorite fragrance is so I can check it out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.